kupata mazao mazuri ndani ya shamba in order to get a good crop yield farmers must use quality seed and a good fertilizer this is what sialka has taught us on branch in our fields, we apply good management practices to soybeans and beans by planting in rows and using fertilizer and inoculum. This field is a demonstration plot. When we harvest here, all the farmers come to see. From then on, the farmers want to adopt the same technologies that give such a good yield. We plant in rows and use fertilizer as follows. First apply a mineral fertilizer like NPK or another chemical fertilizer in the furrow in the soil. On top of this, add some organic fertilizer like compost and cover with soil. Then apply the seed and cover again with soil. You can also use rhizobium, which is a kind of fertilizer which fixes or binds nitrogen from the atmosphere. Do you know how to create the mixture? Ah, I see that you already know how. You can use rhizobium by doing the following. Add a little water to a small bottle, and to that water you add a little sugar. Shake the bottle. Keep shaking it, and when you've finished, you'll see the liquid has turned into a sticky glue. This glue will coat the seeds and stick to the rhizobium that we will add later on. Take a bottle top about this size, which you then fill with the glue mixture. Add soya seeds to a large basin and then add the glue mixture that is in the cap. Stir around and around until all the seeds are wetted with the mixture and then finally add the rhizobium. Rhizobium is like flour. Keep adding this until all the seeds are completely coated. Rhizobium doesn't like sunlight. In fact, this will kill it. So it's important to sow the inoculated seeds and cover with soil immediately. We can proceed in two ways. First, we sow multiple rows of legumes in between the rows of cassava, because here the cassava is not yet mature. But where the cassava is near maturity, we reduce the number of lines of beans so that the large biomass of the cassava doesn't impede the good growth of the beans. For the first cropping season, we plant cassava with a spacing of one by one meter and plant two lines of beans or soya between the lines of cassava. For the second season, we only plant one line of beans or soya between the lines of cassava. After testing these technologies, we disseminated them widely amongst households. The improved harvests have really helped to improve farmers' lives. We've learned that planting soya within the maize is useful because the maize is able to use the nitrogen that is fixed by the soya and this helps the maize to mature well. It is from this maize that we produce flour for our porridge, for the children and the family. This is very satisfying for us. And it's for this reason that Sielka makes us happy.
We started by sowing 600 grams of seeds, and now we've harvested 20 kilos. This was a big advantage for me. I'm convinced that planting in rows is very important. My advice to other farmers is this, do it, because planting in rows leads to a high yield.